Hi everybody, this is Varab, and today we're going to talk about social targeting with ad agency and John Social. Now, if you don't have John Social, go to johnsocial.com and you can get it there. This, is, this will basically allow you to create a community on your website, similar to Facebook, and therefore you'll be able to target different ads to different demographics, different people on your site. So that's very, very powerful. Let me give you an example. If we go to a Jump Social site, you can see this is a profile of one of the members, and you can see that they are male, you can see their birth date, you can see a bunch of information about them, and you can choose to show the ad, you or your advertisers can choose to show the ad, for example, only to women, or only to men, or only to a certain age, or only to a certain education or income level. So that's how, uh, that's why this is so powerful. So let's see how it works. The first thing you want to know is this general settings for it. So if you go to settings, social targeting, you will see that you can allow to have social targeting either on the front end, on the back end, or both. Let's see how it looks like on the front end. If I open any of my ads, and I scroll down, you can see we have a social targeting section here and you can see that I have two fields right now the gender and the age but you can add as many fields as you want here so this is the front end now let's take a look on the back end if I go to managers ads and you say open the same ad you can see that you have an extra tab now called social targeting and you can do your targeting here, right here on the, on the back end. Now the next thing it's asking you here is which so jump social fields you would like to include in the social targeting. Sometimes you have, let's say, 10 different fields and you're asking them different questions, but you don't necessarily want to target based on all these fields. So here it's going to let you choose which ones you can target by. So right now we only have two fields, but let's see how we can add more. So if you click here to access the Jump Social Profile Manager, or you can also go to Components, Jump Social, Custom Profiles, you'll get to the same page, and you can see all the fields here. Now why only some of them show on the settings? You can see we only have two fields here, right? Or actually if we go to the settings, Social Targeting, you can see that the only two options that we have are gender and birth date. But here we see a bunch of other ones. Okay, so the reason is that all the other ones are open-ended questions, like about me, you can see it's a text area, mobile phone is a text box, and all the other ones are text box, text area, etc. We can't really do targeting based on open-ended questions. So we only do it based on select questions like radio buttons or check boxes. Okay? There's another kind that we don't support here is the country. For that we have geo-targeting. Okay? You have settings. Okay, I'm sorry. Geo-targeting, settings and channels. This is how you set up based on country and state and all that stuff. So we're not we don't need to do it with John Social. Another thing we don't support is URL. Okay, so all the ones that are not showing is because we just don't support those kind of uh, fields. But let's add one that we do support. So we add a new field. Let's call it income level. And this time we're going to choose select. And here I'm going to choose some, I'm going to make sure that uh, if I want to show it on registration, yes or no. Do I want it to be visible, yes or no. Publish, require, all those things, we can set up later. But let's say that I'm entering my options here. And when I'm done entering all my options, I'm going to click save. And as you can see, it added it right here under the group basic information. Now let's go back to our settings and refresh. And now as you can see, we have another field 
that is unchecked by default, so you have to check it here. And if you check it, and take a look again on the front end, you will see this new field, and you can target the ads to, let's say, only people who make over 75000 a year. Okay? Let's see how it looks like on the back end again. If we go to Manager's Ads, we open one of the ads. On social targeting, now you can see this new field. And you can add as many fields as you wish, and you or your advertisers, or both of you, can target based on job social fields, what we call social targeting. There's another thing you should notice about the, the job social integration. If you go to zones, managers, zones, and you open any of the zones, you can see that on the position, you have a bunch of positions that are inside job social. All, right? all these positions are inside job social. There, there is uh, on job social site an explanation about that, exactly where these module positions are uh, located. But basically, they're going to be like, uh, like here, in, in, on the profile, uh, on the home page, there's different positions going different places. So that's another aspect of the integration with Jump Social. So this is it about ad agency and social targeting. Thanks for watching.